This is a blue shark. It has some very interesting features that relate to its ability to swim in the water. We have a variety of fins. These are the pectoral fins, which are very large, as you can see. They're important for the shark to maneuver. And so sharks with very large pectoral fins typically are relatively good at maneuvering. As we move on down the body, we have the dorsal fin. Many sharks have two dorsal fins, so we can see one here and a second one here. They've got a little flap at the back which moves back and forth. And these fins can be actively moved by the shark. They're not uh, simply static structures. Sharks also have pelvic fins. And here are the paired pelvic fins. And in this case, we have a male shark. We can see the two claspers here, these elongated structures, modified parts of the pelvic fins that are used to inseminate uh, the female. As we move on further back, we have the anal fin, which looks a lot like the uh, mirror image of the dorsal fin here, and the tail. And the tail of many sharks is called a heterocircle tail. It's asymmetrical. That means it's asymmetrical with a big upper lobe and a relatively smaller lower lobe. Because of the different surface areas of the upper lobe and the lower lobe, the shark can generate forces that are not symmetrical with his tail. And as this tail beats back and forth as the animal swims, the forces that the tail generates go forward, but they don't go exactly through the center of mass of the shark. So there's a moment, there's a torque that's exerted on the shark, which tends to rotate the body of the shark. By bending the tail up and down and by controlling the motion of these lobes, because there are some muscles that come back up into this tail, they can control the angle of the force that's produced during swimming. And this, is, in fact, is a type of tail structure that's found in the earliest fishes. Sharks retain this from their ancestors today. Sharks have a very interesting skin structure that has been the subject of some research, including some work in my lab here at Harvard. Sharks, although people think of them as being cartilaginous fishes, actually are covered with bone. And the bone is in the form of tiny, small, tooth-like scales that cover the surface of the shark like this one here. They're quite small. Typically, shark scales, which are bone, are about 100 microns in diameter, which is about the thickness of a piece of paper. They seem to function to improve the ability of the shark to swim through the water by reducing the drag that it experiences. Somewhat paradoxically, it's not always good to be smoother to swim faster. Sometimes it's better to be rough. And a good example from human experience is a golf ball. And the reason that golf balls have dimples in them is it allows the golf ball to travel farther when it's hit with a club. Those dimples actually reduce the drag. And similarly, shark skin scales act to reduce the drag when the shark swims. Additional function that we've discovered in my lab here is that the shark scales on the tail region may actually improve the thrust that the uh, tail is generating compared to a smooth surface. So the bumpy, roughened surface of shark skin it plays a very important part in their uh, locomotor biology.